This session is going to walk you through how to place an order on Ingram Micro's Cloud Marketplace. First thing you'll want to do is navigate to either us.cloud.im or ca.cloud.im. You'll either log in at the middle screen here or log in at the top right. Once logged in, you'll go ahead and navigate to the Cloud Services option here. You'll be able to toggle through the different categories of solutions available through Ingram Micro's Cloud Marketplace. In this case, I'll go ahead and navigate to Business Applications and scroll over to Microsoft Office 365. Scrolling down, I will be able to choose my monthly billing for Office 365. Continue past any disclosures. Now I'll be able to add my five users of Business Essentials or any other plan necessary for my end user. Recommended services and solutions, I will go ahead and scroll to the bottom and skip all and check out. So here is my shopping cart. You'll note my reseller cost here is $22.70. MSRP for five licenses is $25. I can save this for later, or I can go ahead and continue shopping. I'm going to go ahead and continue shopping, hover over cloud services, and add an additional cloud solution to uh, my end customer account. I'm going to navigate over to uh, infrastructure and go to an Acronis backup. I'm going to choose the pay-as-you-go, choose unlimited pay-as-you-go, and back up my Office 365 here. Skip all and check out. Now I have a complete shopping cart with my monthly recurring uh, Acronis backup as well as my Office 365 licenses. I'm going to go ahead and proceed to checkout. Next, I'm going to enter my end customer account information. Uh, typically, you'll be adding a new user. However, if you happen to have a, an end customer that already has an existing subscription through Ingram Micro's Cloud Marketplace, such as Dropbox, Symantec, or Trend Micro, you'll be able to scroll to that end user and add the Acronis and Office 365 to that user or whatever the solution might be. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and add a new user. All fields here uh, are required unless they are marked optional. Uh, so here you'll see username and password. This username and password is only going to be pertinent if you are giving your end customer access to their end customer control panel. If you are not intending to give your end customer access to manage their own subscriptions or to provision uh, new subscriptions, and this is a required field, but you will have master access at your reseller level, so you will not need to remember this information. So I'm just going to put data here that matches the requirements for username and password, ensuring that I have green check marks along the way. Ingrammicro.com. Go ahead and enter my address. I will note here for the email address field, the email communication uh, does get sent to this email alias. So if you are not intending to send any notices to your end user, you will want to use an internal email address or set up an email alias to receive the notifications through the Cloud Marketplace. So I have all of my green checks along the way. This security question and answer uh, are pertinent to the username and password that uh, we set up at the top of the screen. So again, if you're not giving your end customer access, this is not a security question and answer that you will need to keep track of. This can also be edited down the line if you did decide to give your customers access after the fact. 
So here I can choose a net new customer tenant with Ingram, or if this was a conversion or an addition to an existing Microsoft tenant, I could choose my customer has an existing Microsoft tenant. I'm going to go ahead and create a new tenant domain here. We'll check live and in real time. There we go. So now both of my tenant domains are checked. That tenant is available. Uh, this will also verify my uh, Microsoft Partner Network ID. Uh, if this was uh, a vendor such as Dropbox or Symantec, it would also require me to put in the Partner ID to identify uh, my ability to provision that solution. I'll go ahead and hit Continue here. The next is going to be my reseller billing information. Uh, if you are on Net30 Terms with Ingram Micro, uh, you most likely will see Net30 Terms here. Otherwise, if you are on credit card, you will see prepaid terms with a list of all of the available credit cards or the ability to add a new credit card. If you are uh, not on Net30 Terms for your Marketplace account, please feel free to reach out to the cloud sales team to look into switching your account from credit card to net 30 terms. The number to reach the cloud sales team is 1-800-705-7057. Again, 1-800-705-7057. Next, you'll see the order details. So I have all of my business licenses, my Acronis pay as you go for the backup, confirming my Office 365 tenant domain, and agreeing to the terms and conditions and hitting submit. Next, I'll get a notification that my order has been submitted and is being processed. I'll receive an email at the email specified during the ordering process once my order has completed. 